name is Paul Rogers and welcome to another 90 second fast idea. One weakness in many risk frameworks is the label or description of the risk being assessed. So how can we write better risk statements? If the labelling of a risk is brief and vague, it can confuse stakeholders when they are assessing likelihood and consequence. What if the team have different perceptions of what the risk they're assessing actually is? The result may be confusion and a difference of opinions. There are three key elements to a risk statement. The first is the cause, why something goes wrong. The second is the condition, how it could go wrong. And the third is the consequence, the outcome of something going wrong. Here are some examples of poorly worded risk statements, but getting progressively better. Even the last example omits the cause. Better wording would be, because the supplier's implementation team lacks capability, the quality of implementation may suffer, resulting in delays and a failure to realise anticipated business case benefits. In the second example, the specificity of the cause and the condition allows for much better targeting of risk mitigation factors as well as more accurate assessment of the likelihood and consequence of the risk. When doing risk analysis, aim to ensure that everyone has a clear understanding of the terminology. Music